Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the Soviet SU-6AM-42, the smaller brother of the other attacker that was already added to the game in the last patch. This one sits at 0.3 battler rating lower at 5.0 battle rating and it seems to be quite similar to the other one. I don't have everything unlocked yet on this plane. Especially I'm missing a few performance. Ah! <laughs> Almost got the typhoon there. Especially missing a few of the performance modules. But uh, I do have most of the uh, gun modifications uh, unlocked. I like the 37mm. It's a dual 37mm setup with 45 rounds per gun. I used a 600m convergence on that with universal belt. And it also has two times 7.62 millimeter Schwack uh, machine guns with 750 rounds per gun. Here comes the Spitfire. Let's take the shot. <laughs> Whew. That was close as well. Almost had two air kills already, but sometimes it can be that close. 37 millimeter hits do not always evaporate planes. But uh, I use stealth rounds on the machine guns and uh, also 600 meter convergence as that is the general set um, but uh, yeah this plane is much like its little or its older brother it is a very nice attacker it has armor all over the place you can take a lot of damage in this plane and still fly on or back to base and uh, you have a lot of options in the armament it is very versatile when it comes to that you can attack planes like you saw in this match already I decided to go after this uh, P-47 by the way above the airfield and I, I am just plainly flying through and I'm surviving that that is a testament to the um, durability of this plane I smoke a little bit here and there but uh, <laughs> I'm still alive and I'm gonna survive this match as well so very sturdy plane very nice and it's a small target which is also nice and it's perfectly capable of shooting down enemy aircraft especially with the 37 millimeters who can definitely explode things you can also have hits and misses like the uh, first two planes but uh, yeah that's a little bit of the uh, dispersions if i have the second modification on the 37 it will be a little bit more accurate and i'm sure will shoot down more planes with it as i even had a positive kill death ratio in the bigger brother of this thing not in this one because I am flying it while I'm uh, spading it so not fully spaded this plane as is now the guns like I said is good you can uh, shoot light targets with the uh, machine guns you can shoot uh, medium and uh, heavy tanks with the 37s you have bomb load options you have your regular bombs that you can throw that can kill even light pillboxes and stuff and you have rockets that you can place on it a little later when you unlock them and those rockets can be quite good as well. Here we throw a few of the 50 kilo bombs on a pillbox and it is destroyed very nice. So you have a lot of options and you can use them when you need them, which is quite nice. Like I said, this thing is brimming with guns and I can imagine the Germans in the war had a lot of troubles with planes like these. The IL-2s included, of course. Now it, it is not the, the best turner of course, it, it is bad turn time, bad maneuverability, it, it moves like a brick, but it, with a little bit of imagination and a little bit of uh, creativity you can maneuver with some things, with the wyvern here for example, not that spitfire coming in there, that is not so nice that he is interrupting this nice little interaction I'm having here with this wyvern, but um, yeah with the wyvern you can definitely do some things. This thing doesn't have the greatest speed either, uh, I mean next to the maneuverability. I, now I can assure you, if that Spitfire would not have been here, I would have gotten that Wyvern. Assuredly, I would have gotten him. Felt quite confident there. But uh, the plane after the maneuverability also doesn't have great speed for its battle rating. I mean for an attacker it is not too bad, but yeah, as an... Uh, uh, compared to the uh, to the fighters on this battle rating, it definitely is not fast and it can easily be caught up with. You do have your gunner though and you do have a lot of surprises for incoming 
planes that you can chase them off with or even kill them with. That was a nice shot by the way on that medium tank. <laughs> Doesn't often happen when I shoot a tank with one shot. Uh, the gunner though, it does have a small range. It, it is very limited to what it can do because it is also in an armored box and it can only move the gun so far as you can see. The energy retention and the acceleration is not even something worth mentioning so that is just, uh, I mean it's bad but <laughs> how bad exactly, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I still like the little bugger. It's tough, it has a lot of options in weapons. And um, yeah, that can be fun. Can be fun. I surprised a few people here and there. And uh, if you get some time on a few columns and you are undisturbed, then you can definitely have fun. Unfortunately, I did not have a single match in which I was undisturbed on a column of uh, ground vehicles. And there was always somebody like this who came along and spoiled my fun. <laughs> So monster scores I did not have in this plane because of this reason. There was always somebody on my neck and uh, yeah, I uh, it's not fun. <laughs> because often with the maneuverability of this plane and, and if the fighter pilot that is attacking you knows what he's doing and has a plane that can, uh, it can perform against you then uh, yeah, you have absolutely no chance. Absolutely no chance. You can avoid, of course, like here, and you can, you can postpone the inevitable fate. I would have hoped that the Focke Wolf 190 there on the left would have come to save me. I was calling out. This was the wrong call, by the way. I said uh, that was a four five. I should have warned him to attack that guy, but uh, he should have immediately continued from that other guy he shot down. But he didn't. He, he left me to my fate, and after that, he came in to uh, to get that guy. Wonderful. Here we are on Spain in another match. We are behind a Doe 335. We are trying to pepper him. We got the rudder there, probably destroyed it. And there he goes. An ME 410 behind me. That thing is much more maneuverable than me. But of course, thank God I had an ally in the neighborhood. An other SU6. Veronica there, thank you very much. Uh, she saved my ass. And um, we are proceeding to attack the column that was right behind there. Now this was one of my uh, worst attacks on a column <laughs> that I've had. I missed a lot of shots, I missed a lot of rockets and I missed all of my bombs. Fantastic work. That can happen sometimes in this plane. The 50 kilograms are pretty good but you have to get them exactly on target. Even on light vehicles. And as I ran out of uh, options with guns and, uh, and, and armament, I decided to leave the column. I was chased by this guy. And we're going to try to turn in for there's an ally on the way to help me. It is a G56 uh, amazing armament on the team. Dead meat. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, that was actually quite enjoyable. I, I always find these little things fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun in the other one as well. But I only flew that one when uh, I had it spaded, so I, I, uh, I just spaded it with some golden eagles. Then I started to fly it out. I have a positive kill death ratio with the bigger brother of this thing. So it can definitely perform. It, the, the thing that held me back as well was that it's still uh, a large part stock. And some of the footage you saw was stock. But uh, it still performed admirably as well, this thing. It, uh, once it's spaded, it's just a little beast, just like its bigger brother. And uh, it has a lot of versatility, like I said. There is stiff opposition though, especially in up tiers. You get up tier to 6.0. Well, that is tough, of course. And there's a lot of fighters at its battle rating that can demolish it as well. You can still definitely have a lot of fun in this thing. And if you like attackers, then I can definitely recommend it. It is a fun little bugger and it's very, very sturdy. And uh, yeah, so take it out, spade it and uh, see what you can do, I would, uh, I would say. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.